You're listening to WAIF 88.3 F. M in Cincinnati, we are your community radio station. I was just rocking a little Grateful Dead there. Sorry, guys. We are your community radio station, guys. Remember that. The only one in town. And WAIF, as your very own community radio station, serves only to open its airwaves to responsible divergent points of view like Randy and myself. The opinions expressed on this program do not reflect those of WAIF, staff, board of trustees, any other person associated with WIF except for moi and Taper Jesse. So yeah, it's just us, man. It's just us. It's our opinions. Thanks again for joining me. You're listening to Ramblin' Rob on The Greatest Story Ever Told. Do have a good program for you tonight. We're rolling through 78. Going to try to prioritize 1978. It was a great year for the Grateful Dead uh, in as much as it was uh, Keith and Donna, not so much. But Keith was really... Uh, cruising well with being in the band for uh, almost eight years or seven years so he's fitting in well playing well everyone's playing extremely well uh jerry just got on the smack about a year before that so uh he's still playing you know rocking 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 he's still playing really well a uh, real tight tight uh, set of years 1978 and 79 okay guys we're going to tell you about a couple good things here at waif if you like rock and roll and Hey, who doesn't, right? If you like rock and roll, R&B, soul, roots, and folk music, tune into tune into blues, snakes, and banjos every other Wednesday evening from six to eight here at WAIF. Bob Hust and Bill Thompson have been called the best music education on the radio by City Beat, and the two of them mix their songs with shenanigans to keep the show entertaining. That's Blue Snakes and Banjos, Wednesday evening from 6 to 8 here on WAIF. I listen to these guys a lot, too, in as much as I come to a lot of meetings on Wednesday night at the station, and they're always on when I'm up here, so it's always really cool to listen to that great program while I'm here. I get to see them live in studio doing the show. Cool cats. Uh, speaking of cool, you can be cool if you go to the library. Yeah, man, I said it. The Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County features an expanded list of reading programs for both children and adults. The four main categories of events are book discussion groups, regularly scheduled story times for children, children's special programs, and adult teen special programs. For more info about events at the main library or any of the other 41 branches. Wow, 41 branches. Call 513-369-6900 or visit online at CincinnatiLibrary.org. I just had a discussion the other day with someone uh, about the libraries in Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati has, I believe, the third largest public library system in the nation. And it also is one of the unique things in as much as every library in the city of Cincinnati, when you go to around to it is architecturally unique. They're not these little boxes and cookie cutters and, and quick little cheap easy buildings that they construct. Each one's kind of uh, expresses the local area's persona. Enough of that. Free gardening advice. Who doesn't want free gardening advice? You know, it's great to get free advice unless it causes you harm. Why can't I grow azaleas now that I've moved to Cincinnati? And what is that bug? How do I prune my hydrangea bush? Not or now getting the answers to your gardening questions is relatively easy. Visit online at civicgardencenter.org or call them. You can give them a call. That's the Civic Civics Garden Center's Gardening Hotline. 513-221-TREE. That's funny. 513-221-TREE. That's 8733 for the illiterate. Volunteer staff the hotline desk from 9 to 11. Or 9 to 1, actually. So give them a call. I'll tell you what's up. You can find Ramblin' Rob on Facebook. Also, look me up on YouTube. I have a channel there with about 260 old shows. Also, Ramblin' Rob's Greatest Story Ever Told official Facebook page. We have a couple of acts we booked in uh, this year. We're going to have some special guest DJs. I know several guest DJs will be making their appearances in studio later on this year. Also, we have, uh, I believe, the Ramblins scheduled to come in. And I believe uh, Mike Conley uh, may be DJing, or he may be bringing a little spooky in, or at least Elijah, um, coming in to uh, play. So we've got a couple artists, not doing a lot of artists this year, trying to... Calm down, Jerry. Uh, trying to kind of prioritize the Grateful Dead this year, because uh, sometimes I get too many bands in the studio and I can't play enough Grateful Dead, and that makes me a sad, sad person. So we're going to be spending the year in 1978. We're going to be deep in 1978 this year. 
And real quick, not a, a very busy day in Grateful Dead history. One of those uh, between or you know tour type of dates, uh, June between early and late summer tour. Uh, 1967, they played the Thompson Square Park in New York City. That was a free afternoon concert and if my memory serves me right that was a concert that they did kind of a free thing there was a lot of uh, uh, gang activity between I believe the Puerto Ricans and, and some of the uh, black gangs in New York and this was kind of mid turf a little area that was disputed and they actually uh, came to the park and both the gangs enjoyed the music no problems were caused so it was a good good time and 19 I think that was when they saw uh, Charles Mingus, I think they caught him uh, sitting on a bench drinking some liquor out of a thermos. But anyway, I digress. 1968, the Carousel Ballroom. 1977, the Grateful Dead movie was released on this date. Epic, epic movie. And who can, you know, the Grateful Dead, the Grateful Dead are, you know, the huge stars in the movie since it's the Grateful Dead movie and they're the Grateful Dead. But uh, I, I think if, if you ask any fan, what well, one of their favorite scenes or their favorite quote unquote characters or personas represented in that great movie. I think it would have to be Chicken Shack. Definitely Chicken Shack. Because you can't name anybody else but Chicken Shack. 1977, that was epic in 1977. Freak, freaked everybody out. 1991, the last time the Grateful Dead played on today's date, that was at the LA Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. Well, we've got, like I said, uh, Arcanum Wasp on the list tonight to play. Let's see, I've got um, Arcanum Wasp, uh, a little freak bass. Uh, he's been releasing some new stuff and wanted to get some of his newer stuff on the air. He did a, uh, a nice little uh, semi-acoustic um, thing oh, a couple days ago. So, uh, and it's also him, Razor Sharp, uh, Sam Garrett, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second. We do have uh, some great things available on the WAIF website. That's WAIF883.org. You can get a cool T-shirt. Temporarily out of stock, but we're going to get more of those in soon. And more importantly, you can become a member. $25 is all we ask. It's quick and easy. WAIF883.org. Mention Ramblin' Rob Taper Jesse, the greatest story ever told in the comments, remarks, purpose section. It's the only way we get to do this every week is with your support. So please support us. We depend on you guys each and every year, or else I wouldn't be here. So thanks again for all the support in the past. I'm going on year six, so big shout-outs to all the past contributors. If you do have less than $25, we are a community radio station. Every little bit helps, so please contribute all you can. If you have more than that, uh, we have two features. Well, we'll just, we'll just tell you about the real cool one. How about that? The $250 level, you get to be DJ for a day. You get to sit with Taper Jesse and myself in front of a microphone and put some headphones on and pretend, I'll use that quotation mark thing around there, get to pretend to be a DJ here at WAIF. You, you can come in and play a uh, approved Taper Jesse Ramblin' Rob list of tunes. Hopefully some good stuff. If not, you paid the money. We'll play two hours of bad stuff. Doesn't matter to me. And I'll record the show for your listening enjoyment, and you can share it and play it at every party you ever have and every Christmas party you ever have. You could play that two hours you were on the radio where you became Dr. Johnny Fever or Dr. Natalie Fever or whatever you want to call yourself. All right. Well, we're going to roll through 1978, trying to wrap up that great show we started last week. It was July 5th, 1978, the Omaha Civic Auditorium, Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, one of the speaking of Omaha, Nebraska, one of the things that the Grateful Dead were good about, at least in the earlier part of the days, say the late 60s and early 70s, uh, they were traveling, especially when they did the uh, like small college tour, like in 71, 70. Uh, but they would go around to these relatively small towns, uh, quiet areas of the United States throughout the Midwest and such. And honestly, it was the first time that a lot of the people, the locals who might live in Omaha City or Omaha or 
you know, Tulsa or wherever, it was the first time they really ever saw a freak, you know, a long-haired hippie, you know, that the, the Los Angeles papers and the San Francisco papers and the New York papers always talked about. Well, this was like a traveling freak show for these people. So they, they got exposed to a lot of different weird things, courtesy of the Grateful Dead, not to mention probably that uh, probably a large part of the LSD consumed throughout the 70s was brought to town by those crazy guys that crazy guys fans man what are you guys doing okay i'm gonna shut up and get on with some grateful dead from 1978 but first of course we have to do the intro tune you know it wouldn't be the greatest story ever told without Lyle's little thing confirmed today as a matter of fact lyle and shay will be back in studio as a ram ones i wrote the date on some piece piece of paper i don't have right now but it's coming up pretty soon and if you don't know these guys it was the same guy that did that tune if you don't know these guys you're in for an absolute thrill always excited to get them in studio because it's ohio's only premiere and only acoustic ramones duo so they really knock your socks off and it's always a blast having them in studio okay guys i'm gonna be quiet for a little bit 1978's The Date.
So, do you think I have a case? Mrs. Simpson, you're in luck. Your sexual harassment suit is just the thing I need to rebuild my shattered practice. Oh, yeah. 
to the security guards.
take a short break. We'll be back in just a few minutes, so everybody hang loose.
High Energy Show there from 1978. That was July 5th, of course. They were out playing in the Omaha Civic Auditorium in beautiful Omaha, Nebraska, I'm sure. You're listening to WAIF 88.3 FM. Go to WAIF's website, WAIF883.org, and download a smart or Android app for your phone. And that way you can take us everywhere we go. We have over 70 unique programs here, bringing you some eclectic things like Caribbean, bluegrass, blues, the Grateful Dead, of course, gypsy jazz, gospel, country, classic rock. Uh, We have death metal. We have surf rock. We have all kinds of different rock. So check us out. Uh, We have some unique things that you really can't get anywhere else. And while you're there, memberships are only $25. It's how you keep this unique thing we like to call WAIF on the air. So join us in celebrating our seas, our fifth decade on the air. And we uh, can only do that by having the support of Cincinnati and the listeners. Yes, you. I'm pointing at you, Mr. Listener, in your car, in your house. I see you sitting in your lazy boy. I see you. You haven't donated lately. You should. We'll take five bucks from you. We're not proud. WIF 883.org. Mention Ram the Rob, Tabor Jesse, or the greatest story ever told in the comments, remarks section. Okay, well, we're going to take a little break here from the Grateful Dead. We're going to feature some different things. Um, let's see. I've got, uh, I guess we'll play this Argonaut and, uh, well, let's go. Let's go Freak Bass. I feel a little freaky. Um, so we're going to play some Freak Bass. He uh, shared this with me a couple days ago, and I'm going to just uh, crank it. Uh, so we're going to get a little funky here, if you excuse the French. One, two, three, four.
That was a little freak bass there. Loving Your Pocket. That had Sammy Garrett. And let's see, Sammy Garrett, Razor Sharp Johnson, and Rico Lewis and Freak Bass all together doing a little uh, Love in Your Pocket. So really, really dug that. That was pretty cool. I like Freak Bass. You're listening to WAIF again. We're going to do a little uh, talking here because we do have uh, a lot of Grateful Dead on the plate. Like I said, I'm going to try to roll through as much of 1978 as physically possible uh, this year. I do have a lot on the plate. We're going, uh, I think, July 5th here in just a little bit uh, let's see here I've told you guys about some free gardening stuff last hour uh, public libraries and the great shows the great show we have here blue snakes and banjos so I'll let taper Jesse tell you guys about a couple more things that we got here uh, how you doing tonight Jesse I'm doing fantastic Rob how about you uh, not too bad not too mm-hmm. bad I've had better weeks uh, I think I think the moon's like in some weird phase or something like that so uh, yeah I think the whole world's just going insane really yeah, I, w- I actually, yeah, I'm one of those crazy thoughts I'll tell you about off air. But, yeah, I think yeah. The, I, I was thinking the other day, like, yeah, everybody's getting all uppity and stuff. Everybody's going a little nuts lately. Yeah. Just, everybody just needs to calm down. Like we were talking, like Jesus said, just calm down, right, people. Right, right, relax. Just take it easy, relax. Jesus doesn't want you to judge people. No. Jesus wants you to make that cake, and he wants you to help out your neighbor. That's right. Just calm down. Be or kind Buddha, of or whatever you want to call the dude. Yeah, I mean, everybody in the entire world would get along if you just had one rule, and it's just like, be cool to everybody. Right. I mean, yeah, if some guy's a total douche and you know and he deserves a punch in the face not to say you can't punch him in the face because you could just call that karma yeah you know and then you know karma sometimes swift or slow it just depends on it but yeah just be cool to everybody and you know everybody get along it doesn't matter where what country you're in or what color you are or where you're from or you're north south east west uh yeah just be cool to your neighbors on the left on the right down below up above everything be kosher right you, but that, that's just my that's just me on my soapbox. No one's really going to do that. You don't have to agree with someone to be able to get along. With and someone. on the flip side of that coin, mankind has been bashing each other's skulls and with rocks for centuries. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally. Yeah. So you know, you, you get the but you get the best of of mankind and you get the worst of mankind. So hopefully, you go out and try to be the best. You know what my official management training was? What's that? I was handed a book called Responsible Reasons to Punch People in the Face. There you go. And did you learn something? I learned something. That there are responsible reasons to punch people in the face. <laughs> they gave you at least 20 reasons? Exactly. 100 reasons exactly. why you can punch an employee. You know the difference is between a hippie and a deadhead, right? Uh-uh. A hippie preaches, pre- preaches peace and love, but a deadhead will walk up and punch you in the face. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Anyways, Tuesday evenings from 8 to 10, tune in to WAIF for a fine gumbo of Louisiana music. Yeehaw. Creole, Cajun, and New Orleans R&B make a wonderful and tasty dessert of ear candy. Join Robin and Joni for a low-calorie, high-energy buffet of America's original music. That's Crawfish Fiesta. Catch it only on WAIF 883 Cincinnati. Yeah, I always got appalled when my uh, uh, history of rock and roll professor was telling me as a youth... Uh, that there's only server, there's only like blues, and that's kind of iffy, but like jazz, he kept saying, it's like the only indigenous American music is jazz, you know, and I'm thinking like, you know, they've got yeah. the Cajun music, which is a blend of a couple of different kinds yeah. of sounds. It's like, that's pretty original. I don't see anybody else doing that. I mean, if nothing else, there's no such thing as an original thought. Any note that's ever mm, been played true. has been played by someone else before in that Yeah, there's only so many, right? Right. You got to pick from how many are there? How many musical notes are there? You know, off the top of your head, um, did you play music? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 26, just like the alphabet. And then the various sharps and flats and sevenths and all the different, huh. you know. See, but I played but music. mainly there's just the you know, just that handful of notes and everything else is based off and around that. Hmm. Yeah, I played music, but I can't remember anything because it was so long ago. So, so long ago. Okay, uh, well, good luck to get finished there. Sorry about that. I just kind of interrupted right. there, jumped around. That's all right. But did you know that the contribution of women inventors to society have been under-recognized for many years? Did you know that? I knew that. That's why I drew that card. That's a good card to draw. It I, is. I've got we to like be honest. Women. You, we love women. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. I've got enough kids to prove that That's I right. love women. I do love so, women. Yeah. But anyways, mm-hmm. um, I totally lost my all. Their achievements have been even greater, knowing the gender bias 
they have had to overcome. Yes. Over the next two decades, more than 25 million new jobs will be created in the field of engineering, with women holding an estimated 65% of these jobs. Jeez. The American Society of Mechanical Engineering hopes that today's young women will consider a career in mechanical engineering to be motivating enough to transcend whatever barriers they confront. For more information about mechanical engineering, log on to www.asme.org. Wow. Hmm. That must be a new one. I don't remember that one. I, I've I've got to say, so far, two of these three. I've I've been doing this with you for three years now, and I've never seen any of. Yeah, these. I actually was look, I was looking through the promos and looked at them all. And I don't have one in the other box, but um, I was looking through them all and trying to find some interesting things, so, yeah, stuff I haven't read before. Because a lot of times I'm like, ooh, the zoo one, you know, I, and I'll read that one like eight, 85 times a year or something. I pick them out at random, and honestly, I have a couple of them marked in the corner that I won't read because I find them exceedingly difficult. Cause like that, what's terribly. that one that has all the religious biblical quotes? In oh it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when, I don't mind reading it because of the content. I don't. It's so hard to read in Bible speak. Yeah, you to, you know, thou like, hast spaketh thine mm-hmm. thusly, yeah. thou forth. Difficult to speak like that. Right, right. Anyway. Okay, you got one more, one more item one more? on the plate here. Yeah. Do you want to tie me? No, I, I'm, oh, I'm just reading what's uh, what's up next here. Oh, okay. Uh, in response to increasing number of abused and neglected children in Kentucky, the di- dios diocesan uh-huh. diocesan Catholic Children's Home in Fort Mitchell is searching for foster and adoptive parents. There are now more than 350 children in Kentucky's foster care system just waiting to be adopted. If you can help, please call Ron Birch at 859-331-2040 or visit online at dcchome.org. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. See, I don't, have we read that one before? That one doesn't, no. sound, that one doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. I mean, seriously, in three years, I've never read any of these, and I thought I did a pretty thorough yeah, random we, pick. we got a pretty big box, but yeah. Yeah. After three years, things haven't changed that much, you know. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Haven't been that much turnover shows here. No. Well, speaking of turnover, we got a, a band called Argonaut and Wasp coming to town uh, at Stanley's here in I think uh, Did a you couple say weeks. Wasp? Yeah, Argonaut and Wasp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Argonaut and Wasp. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought we were gonna have Blackie Lawless at Stanley's, man. I was getting super. No, no, but they're uh, from the East Coast. I think New York. Uh, Brooklyn, New York City-ish, we'll say. I think one of those places uh, around New York City. I don't know exactly what specific borough, but I'm bumps. See, I, I got the lingo down. But uh, we're going to roll, let's see, a quickie here. Uh, it's called Radio Slam, Sound Slash Psychedelic Freak. So uh, I kind of like it. The, the sound, I, I told the guys they've got a, yeah, a really cool, uh, different type of sound, something that I wouldn't expect to see down at Stanley's because it's a little more progressive probably than, but Stanley's has been getting some newer, different bands uh, oh, yeah. from a little more distance away in. Yeah. So that, that, that's good. And, and they're, you know, great for the Cincinnati music scene, you know, kind of spice it up a little bit. It's very, the, the size and layout of the venue, you can put a guy on an acoustic guitar standing on that stage and there will be enough energy in that room to, mm-hmm. to light mm-hmm. it up. It's very high energy. Yeah, I almost got then you. Yeah, I almost got struck by lightning down there one time. That's how high energy it was. And and the funny thing was when I was talking to, I want to say it was Woofy afterwards or Adam. They said that because there was a bullet of lightning that hit really really close to the back patio, yeah. and uh, you know it. I equate it to standing next to a 155 millimeter howitzer because it was insane. It was so close. One guy actually for the remainder of the evening kept looking over at me and feeling himself going, did it hit me? Did it hit me? Cause he got so disoriented yeah. from the, the electrical charge. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Wolfie said a ball of lightning rolled through Stanley's back door around the corner and out the side window when that thing hit, man. And no one saw it except the people that were facing the back yeah. because it rolled right through the back along the wall. Oh man. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's how close that thing was. Man. So, yeah, it's a high-energy place. It's a very high-energy high energy place. place. I've got, I have an off-air story, wink, 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 wink. to tell no, you nod. about high energy in that place. Does it involve Lemmy? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
We love Motorhead. We might even rock out the end of the show with some Motorhead. We, I really uh, enjoy Motorhead. It's one of my uh, indulges, kind of like 311, one of those things. That oh, like, yeah. I, I can't turn them off if they're even remotely close to a Motorhead tune. You know, a friend of mine has a little project that he's putting together, and he was like, man, what do we have to do to get on the show? And I was like, well, you probably just at least have to play a Grateful Dead tune. He was like, well, you know. <laughs> and I was like, how about an obscure 311 track? He was like, that we can do. Well, see, that, that'll get you on here. I told him to learn it. And come talk to me. Yeah, they've and see that's the thing with three eleven tune. You only got to play like three minutes. They're all like radio hits. They don't right. jam out on hardly anything. Right, but man, yeah. those three minutes. Yeah, they're they're all to it, man. I mean, if you look at a set list like back in the day, like the mid nineties from three eleven, they'll play like twenty six, thirty two songs. You they know, still do insane. like insane. Yeah. How many songs? I don't think play. I've ever seen them play less than like twenty or twenty five songs. And no teleprompter either. Yeah. No, I mean, I yet. Was, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, we laugh about it because we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think I need bifocals, Rob. Yeah, it was me too. I've been needing them for years. So it yeah. stinks. <laughs> anyway, this is Argonaut and Wasp. They'll be rolling down the Stanleys here. I believe in uh, two weeks, so exactly two weeks, because I was uh, going to have them in studio but i think i got a, i think mike conley's coming in actually as a guest dj we got a couple of guest djs lined up this year this is radio sound psychedelic freak from argonaut and wasp enjoy this one well i down from the pop shop i got a razor top and this suit's making me fine
like I said, those guys, Argonaut and Wasp, will be back. Uh, or the first time, actually, they're going to be down at Stanley's here in just two weeks. So. Okay, you're listening to WAIF 88.3 FM. We're going to roll on with some Grateful Dead. We're going to come close to wrapping up the 75-1978 show. It is Omaha Civic Auditorium in sunny Omaha, Nebraska, and I bet it was hot as heck on July 5th in Omaha, Nebraska. And Man. Many, yeah, no, seems like there's no shade in Nebraska, just from what I've seen from, like, cowboy movies and stuff. No but. shade, nice, dry, hot wind. Right, just, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh well. Uh, we're going to roll through, um, let's see, I think this is... My complexion is why I could never live in Nebraska. In Nebraska. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, no you'd shade. Be, you'd be oh, red man. all the time, all the time. All right, we're going to start off with a little Samson and Delilah, Ship of Fools, estimated. And um, I think I think they start out estimated in set two. We're going to wrap up set one and get into set two here. You're listening to Ramblin' Rob and Taper Jesse. Hi, Gore. Would you give me a hand with the bags? Certainly. You take the blonde and I'll take the one in the table.
Elected mayor, my first act will be to kill the whole lot of you and burn your turn to cinders.
Planning a Jamaican getaway? Fly stoned. Our stoned attendants will see that you arrive with a load. Stoned Airlines to Jamaica. Fly above the clouds and arrive with a head full of steam when you get there. And save money with our special economy flights. Only $29.95. Don't take a boat to Jamaica. Ja wants you to fly.
if I kept my finger out of there.
Sometimes we walk along Sometimes the songs that we hear Are just songs of all Okay, folks, show's over. Nothing to see here. Show's... Oh, my God! A horrible plane crash! 
Hey, everybody, get a load of this flaming wreckage. Come on, crowd around. Crowd around, don't be shy, crowd around.
afraid we have a bad image, sir. Market research shows people see you as something of an ogre. Yeah, you ought to club them and eat their bones. dead there for your head we're going to try to wrap up at 7578 show uh, omaha civic center omaha nebraska next week for you good place to stop between space and drums or drums and space technically i guess huh <laughs> Dude, get it right man yeah i know and we'll, we'll, we'll pick up there next time but yeah it's a good way going into uh, the notorious joyous show he's in studio so stick around he's got some treats for you i saw he actually has a 45 on his turntable so you don't see those a lot those little baby records and little singles you know those little cute records yeah. some of the little cheeks yeah oh. they are cute aren't they aren't they baby records yeah they're cute but yeah he's got a 45 for you so all right we're gonna get on uh, with a little bit of that here but first, we're going to rock out uh, tonight because everybody needs it. It just seems like it's that time. Catch you next week.